Russia declares that it does not accept the West's imposition of oil price ceilings and is preparing to respond. The Kremlin on Saturday said that Russia will not accept the price ceiling for its oil and will soon issue a response. This is Russia's response to an agreement by Western powers to squeeze its finances, according to Reuters. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said that Russia was prepared for the imposition of a ceiling on Russian oil prices on Friday, December 2, by the G7, the European Union, EU, and Australia, according to Russian state news agencies. TASS. We will not accept this price ceiling, Peskov was quoted as saying by Russian news agency TASS. He added that Russia will conduct a quick analysis of the agreement and will respond later. Russia has repeatedly stated that it will not supply oil to countries that impose price ceilings. Mikhail Ulyanov, Russia's ambassador to international organizations in Vienna, Austria, reaffirmed this position in social media posts on Saturday, December 3. Starting this year, Europe will live without Russian oil, he declared. The Russian oil price cap would still allow non-EU countries to continue importing Russian crude by sea, but it would ban shipping and insurance companies from handling Russian crude shipments globally. Unless it sells for less than $60 a barrel. This could further complicate the shipping of Russian crude at prices above the ceiling, even for countries that are not part of the agreement. Russia's Urals crude oil traded at around $67 a barrel on Friday, November 2. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said the price cap would particularly benefit low- and middle-income countries, which are already bearing the brunt of soaring food and energy prices. Yellen said that, when the Russian economy is in recession and the budget is getting thinner, the above price ceiling will immediately cut off the most important source of income of Russian President Vladimir Putin to serve the effort. War in Ukraine In comments posted on Telegram, the Russian embassy in the U.S. criticized this as a dangerous move by the West and said Russia would continue to find buyers for its oil. Steps like these will inevitably lead to increased instability and cause higher costs for consumers of raw materials. Regardless of the current sweet talk along with dangerous and unscrupulous tools no matter how legitimate, we believe, the need for Russian oil remains, the statement said. On November 2, the European Union EU agreed to impose a ceiling price of use 60 slash barrel on Russian oil. On the same day, the rotating presidency of the EU, which is currently held by the Czech Republic, said, ambassadors have just reached an agreement on limiting the price of Russian oil transported by sea. Polish ambassador to the EU Andrzej Sados expressed his satisfaction and agreed with the ceiling price of use 60 slash barrel for Russian oil. Before that, Poland was one of the countries that advocated a lower price ceiling. Estonian Prime Minister Kaja Kallas welcomed the agreement to impose a price ceiling on Russian oil. Before that, she was particularly concerned about Russia's military advances on the battlefield in Ukraine. I welcome the EU's political agreement to fix a price ceiling on Russian oil, Kallas said in a statement. Paralyzing Russia's energy revenue is at the core of stopping the Russian war machine. I personally participated in the negotiations, because depleting Russia's resources for the war effort is a matter of life and death for us she added. The Prime Minister of Estonia estimates that, for every dollar limit reduced, Russia will lose $2 billion in oil revenue. Ms. Kallas said even European countries want to lower the price ceiling to 30 or 40 US dollars. A day earlier, while EU representatives were in the final stages of negotiations, the Kremlin announced it would bypass any final price caps and negotiate prices directly with customers, according to the state news agency. Das Country Lavrov also repeated the Kremlin's position that Russian energy companies would not supply oil to any country that supported the price ceiling, saying that Russia would not supply oil to countries that led by dictators. The imposition of an oil price cap by Russia has also been criticized. In an interview with CNBC in November, former Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin said that Russia's oil price ceiling is not only unfeasible, it's the most ridiculous idea I've ever heard of. The price cap cap is aimed at curbing rising energy costs, thereby easing worrisome inflationary pressures. However, observers said that the EU's restriction on the price of Russian oil is beneficial and harmful, as it could exacerbate the global energy crisis, especially in the event that Russia retaliates.